Hey, hi guys. So today we are going to discuss about the PL300 certification. So I have completed this exam and I have added this in my LinkedIn account. And so every day I get queries on this. So that's the reason I'm, I have decided to make a video on this because many people are interested in uh, doing this certification. Okay. So what is PL300 certification? It is the certification provided by Microsoft only as you already know. So it is for Power BI Data Analyst Associate Certification. Okay. So in this video, we will discuss everything about this from end to end. So uh, what are the resources? So why this exam and who need to take it and what is the cost? And uh, also what what uh, value it will add it to your resume? All these things we will discuss. And also we'll discuss the pattern and resources which I have used to clear it as well, okay? Okay, so, so to start with, this is uh, one valuable certification like I already told. And it will help you in your career advancement. So nowadays there is a huge competition for the data analyst roles, right? So if you have this certification, you, it may not, uh, they may not directly ask you questions in technical interviews, but this will add value when picking your resume. So when multiple resumes are there, so if you have this certification, it will add some value to the resume and you, your resume have more chance to get picked. Okay. So that is the introduction. And then uh, let's go to the exam details. So it is uh, very simple. Here we have around 50 questions. So this completely depends. So every time it keeps changing. So for each individual also, it will be different. So around 40 to 60 questions in this range, you can expect. Okay. So uh, for a round figure, I took 50, but around 40 to 60, that depends completely for each person, it will change. Okay. And the duration is 100 minutes. So what are the question types is uh, format is multiple choice questions, drag and drop, true or false, list rearrangement and case study. So case study questions is basically you will get uh, paragraphs and they will explain the scenarios and based on that there will be questions. So that is case study. Okay. Uh, so then next, what are the skills which are measured? So first of all in this uh, we get questions on four categories mainly so preparing the data so from that and also modeling the data and visualizing and analyzing the data and deploying the data so for these are the four categories where most of the questions are covered okay uh, and then coming to this uh, out of th the exam is for thousand marks and the scoring percentage you have to get 70 percent to pass the exam so out of thousand you need to score at least 700 to pass the exam okay and also you you will get result immediately so this also many people have asked previously so when we will get to know the result so the certificate and all you will get later in your uh, microsoft uh, site itself but the result the score you can immediately see after completing the exam once you complete the exam immediately on the screen itself you can see the score so immediately you will understand if you failed or passed that is one thing and the cost is 4865 i have already mentioned it so that cost you can uh, this is the cost so if you are already working in any organization so just check with your management so most of the times they will provide coupons and when i wrote also i got 50 percent uh, discount because uh like my organization was contributing so just check with your if you're already working check with your organization uh, if you if they have uh, they will help you with the coupon so that you need not pay this much amount. Also, one more thing is if you complete this certification, this is valid only for one year. Okay. So after one year, you can renew it without any cost. There is no need to pay money again. You can renew it again if you write exam before this uh, period completes. Okay. So it is renewable, but you have to, it, uh, once you complete it, it is valid for one year. Once, uh, if you want to uh, re renew it again, you can write it at free of cost okay but uh, when you are writing the exam be careful because once you fail this money will be lost because it is for 4865 uh, so suppose you are writing the exam and if it doesn't clear so if you want to write again then you have to pay again so just be careful and also check with your organization if possible so they will uh, they will provide the amount okay this also you can check so this is how i wrote and then the preparation resources so this is the part uh, almost everybody ping so uh, actually, in the Microsoft itself, we have the uh, course for this. So let me show you. So here in the site, you can go to PL300. So if you go to PL300, you can see very first thing, Microsoft Certified Power BI Data Analyst Associate. So this is the course which you can go ahead and prepare. So uh, here you will get the complete course. 
so just you have to go through for each page and you have to read the things but don't uh, spend so much time in it try to read and make notes of it so that you will get understanding of it okay also keep practicing uh, outside outside these notes also you have you should have basic knowledge about all the things in the power bi then only it will be helpful to you okay and then this is one resource which is provided by microsoft itself then other thing what you can do is you will have a practice assessment here just practice this one as well okay so here it will ask you to sign so you you have to uh, go to sign in and then you have to practice the assessment this you can do okay so here what you have to do is you have to go ahead and you have to practice the assessment so practice it as many times as you want so that uh, and try to score 90 percent here so that you will get idea okay not only the questions you will also get idea on the pattern so what are the questions asked all those things these are two resources which you can use this is provided by microsoft only so that it will be helpful okay next thing is Next thing we have, which you can use is you can simply go ahead and type PL300 dumps. Okay. Uh, so if you type PL300 dumps, you can see multiple dumps here. So exam topics and you can see dump solutions, free brain dumps. So I'm not recommending any particular one, but you can just go ahead and practice it. But while practicing, one thing you have to uh, check is, so here there are questions and there will be answers as well. But only thing is, don't go ahead and practice the uh, memorize the answers that will not give you any benefit because answers might be wrong also many times okay so uh, uh, simply going and pra practicing the answers directly won't give you any help so what you have to do is you have to go and read the discussions as well so if you go and read the discussions you will get better understanding on the topic so that if some if the question is twisted or if the answer is wrong here still you will understand what is the correct answer so uh, not only this side, whatever dumps you are referring. So just go ahead and read the discussions as well, whatever is written so that you will get an idea. You will get a basic idea what's going going on there. And then you will, you will be able to answer even if the questions are twisted a bit. Okay. So that is one thing I want to share. So also people ask if questions come from dumps. So uh, questions do come from dumps, but uh, you have to uh, understand what is the correct answer okay blindly memorizing the answer won't help you anywhere you will you will not be able to clear exam like that you have to read the discussions you have to understand the concepts and dumps you have to use to practice so that you will understand what are the questions being asked and what are the concepts being covered okay for that you can use the dumps next uh next thing is okay same thing i have written don't memorize uh, understand the concepts and also uh, uh this these concepts power bi desktop power query dax all these things you have to stay updated and also if possible uh, practice some hands on as well okay then why you are getting certified so that it will uh, give you add some value to your resume and also career advancement it will help okay and also if freshers do freshers need to do that's completely up to you so if you think you have good hands on experience in power bi and if you have already have good knowledge then you can go ahead and do it but this is not compulsory for freshers okay because for freshers there are many other things to do you have to first learn power bi sql python and all these things so first of all you have to concentrate on those those things if you are really good with it and if you feel you can uh, cover complete the exam first of all go through the notes the resource which i showed you then go through the dumps everything and if you feel you are good and if you are already good with all the basic things then you can go ahead but this is not compulsory so who need to do this is uh uh, whoever have more than one one year experience one to three years experience or more than that also so they who are looking to change into power bi from some other uh, domain or who is already working in power bi and they want uh, the certification so those people that is uh, i will prefer they should do it but if freshers also want to do it you can do it okay so i have covered all the things possible whatever i know i have covered so if you are a data analyst or power bi professional this certification will help you definitely okay so you can go through i have provided all the resources as well if there are any questions you can comment down i'll reply okay thank you